Well, the dictionary defines a glomer as a person who steals or grabs from others. Well, we have a self-proclaimed glomer with us today who says all she ever wanted to grab was more love. Author and longtime Tucsonan Lee Schneebly is here to tell us about her new book, Confessions of a Glomer. Right. There you are, <laughs> a glomer sitting right in front of us. So Sally gave the definition, but is that what you believe a glomer is? It is, and our okay. daughters thought they made up that word uh, because we didn't know it was in the dictionary until I looked it up recently too. But it's somebody that just craves attention and affection and conversation and togetherness, closeness, intimacy, all the things that a lot of women want, more women than men. Well, I'm, a, there are I'm a total glomer now. I know, I oh, think for I think sure I am too. I'm a glomer. <laughs> too. So do you think, Lee, do you think it's something that you can choose to be, or is it just inherent? I think it's in our DNA. I truly do. And we can, we can modify our behavior, clearly, or mm -hmm. we, we, we wouldn't get along at all with a non-glomer. Right. But it, it's always hard. You know, my tendency is to think, but, but don't, don't you want to sit here with me? Right, right. <laughs> don't you want to be close to me all right, the time? Yeah. Tell me about, and even... One of my sons, Lyle, says, I feel like I'm being grilled sometimes when I'm here. You ask so many questions. And see, I see it as mother's love that, mm -hmm. tell me about this and who did you, and what did you have for dinner and so forth. It's wanting to know another person really well. Mm -hmm. Right. Their hopes, dreams, fears, all that. And mm -hmm. I feel it's also being like intrigued by them as well because I know my husband sometimes like, okay, man, to stop with the questions. And I'm always like, but I ask questions for a living. That's oh, what I do. That's true. But now I'm a glomer. Now this is what I'm going to tell him. I'm like, well, I'm a glomer. Yeah, I can't help right. it. I can't help it. I just want to know about your day. Like that's everything. Right. Like you eat for lunch. <laughs> yeah. So, Lee, you are married to a, long, a former K Gun employee, right. Larry Schneebly. Mm -hmm. And um, you say that he's a non glomer. So, so non glomer. So, so non how do you make that work? And see, the and when we've been married for 60 years, oh, it'll be 61 in a couple of months. Congratulations. Wow. I know. And so that's really tell, says, that says a lot for both of us because it's Absolutely. just, I don't think it is actually. I was going to say it's just as hard for him as it is for me, but I don't think it is <laughs> because it's easy for a glomer to get their needs met. You know, they're out doing all kinds of things that society approves of. A glomer who wants this affection and attention and everything can't. I can't, I can't go say, Steve Swinehart, <laughs> let's go visit one another. <laughs> Give me are some affection. Are you Steve? calling Steve Swinehart a glamour? Is he a glamour too? Is that why the word? No, but I just mean he's cute and fun. So I, I know I tend to be a bit of a flirt. Yes. But, um, <laughs> why not? And I'm allowed to do that. Right. I mean, you know, but you can't cross certain lines. Uh, of course. Of course. Now, yeah. who do you think works best? Two glamours, two non glamours, or a mix of both? Well, ideally, I think two glomers would be perfect. That would be ideal. And um, one of our sons is married. He's a glomer, and he's married to a glomer. And she says, they live on the beach, and they walk on the beach. And she said one day, I would love to just be a little barn. You're a little barnacle. Oh, and dear. see, they're so close, and they think alike. And it's so easy for them to be married because their values are exactly the same. On the other hand, our other daughter is a non-glomer married to a non-glomer, and that works. The other two kids are somewhere in the middle, and that works great, too. Mm -hmm. It's hardest of all for two glomers. I would think I so. I mean, for a glomer and a non -glomer. Yeah, for a non glomer like your situation. But right. you're making it work, 60, 61 yeah. years. Yeah. <laughs> but now, I was a marriage counselor for 30 of those years. Oh, so, <laughs> so you had a one-up on everyone. <laughs> no, but I didn't. He would just say, oh, that's just the kind of things you tell your clients, you know. <laughs> I've got to go now. Goodbye. Right. <laughs> so let's talk about your book. Okay. Tell us, what are some of the most important values that you write about in your book? Well, I guess the biggest one would be not to have expectations that are not going to be met. Now, when we married, I thought that we were exactly alike about everything. Because when you fall in love with somebody, you, you both have that passion and desire. And I mm -hmm. just thought, oh, it's always going to be like right. me. So it's after you've been together for a while that you finally realize, wait a minute, we're different, aren't we? And so I guess the most important thing would be to be able to accept the differences and, and know that your life, your happiness doesn't depend on this person being the way you want them to be. Mm -hmm. 
because there are so many pleasures in life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so once I kind of got hold of that and recognized that if I'm writing a book or if I'm sewing or if I'm doing anything that's absorbing and especially creative, then I'm not even thinking of him or any other man or glamours or anything. So I can't sit and wait you know, and hope and wish and feel sorry for myself because right. that just makes me unhappy. And why would I want to be unhappy? So what do you do instead? You write books. <laughs> Miss Lee, thank you so much for telling us. This is your fifth book. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. <laughs> We're going to tell everybody where to get it. Oh, good. All right. Well, you can purchase Confessions of a Glomer by Lee Schnebly on Amazon.com, Kindle, or from Mostly Books. Stick around. The Morning Blend will be right back with what's happening on tomorrow's show.